here guys it's another street so let me keep showing you along this street and uh, so that you got to learn about this new street of Morogoro as you see over there the mountain let me just show you somewhere there you see the view of mountains here guys yeah so this is the downtown man you know just want you to see this as I'm gonna be walking around here let me just walk and show you the streets so guys I am in downtown already and as you can see some uh, different business are learning out here so let's just keep exploring and see what it is around this town of Morogoro you know as what I always promise you man I'm gonna be walking along the street trying to show you different things yeah I just want to go to the market. Uh, somebody told me it's somewhere here, but uh, I'm not sure it's this way or where. Yeah, so guys, this is what it is, and that's what I say, man. This is Morogoro town, and uh, you have to see exactly how this town looks, you know? Yeah, somebody told there is a market around here. I don't know if I'm lost or what. But it's really good getting lost. <laughs> getting lost is much better. All right, let me just keep walking. As long as the street is really cool out here, man, I can just keep walking and exploring something around this place, you know? There's some old building here. I think it's an apartment. Yeah. Yeah, I think the market is this side. So let me just go and see. Yeah, guys, I just want to walk in and see the different activity that is going on in here. Let me let me go this way and then I'm gonna try to see. I think this is the bus station. The bus station. So yeah, as you see, man, as usual, like Africa, Asia, and some other places, you can see business along the street, people are trading. Yeah. But the problem of this place is like you gotta find the music, the louder music. No. There's an apartment over there. This is a hotel. There are so many hotels in Morogoro, man. You know. But as you see there, the street goes over there. Uh, you can see some mountain over there, guys. See? This will lead me to the light way where I, I didn't want to go. I don't even know where I'm going, but let me just keep walking. I think I'm gonna have to cross down there. But all this getting lost is really cool because like, uh, whenever I get lost, you will, you're gonna be seeing the street because like getting lost is a big advantage to you. So I'm not planning that I'm gonna go somewhere. As a matter of fact that I, I'm not so used in this, in this uh, town. So I'm just walking randomly, see? So there's another street goes over there guys, but I think I'm gonna have to go this way. 
and I'm gonna have to chip in. I think the market is somewhere there. Yeah. See these guys. A lot of uh, second-hand clothes are sold around here. This is the Morogoro Central Market, you know? Let me just walk. As what I said, there are so many varieties of food, as you see, rice and beans and stuff like that. Like, there are so many, many things, as you see. Man, let me just go this side. You see these guys? see so this is what i meant when i say uh, this legion is blessed by a lot of crops and the, this handmade stuff as you see here you know it's very really beautiful man yeah there are so many good stuff around here see this is a very big market see So this is Morogoro Central Market. There is a lot of food and the fruits around this place. You know. All this stuff, man, I produce, most of it I produce here. See a lot of beans and stuff like that. You know, rice, millet, maize. Everything is here and they are all sold in a very cheap price, you know. Yeah. See these guys? Yeah, so this is what you can see, man. Uh, this is the Morogoro Central Market. You know, these are the crops that are sold here in Morogoro. Just fresh, you see? They're just fresh. So this is how it is, guys. I just wanted you to see this in the land. Life is good here. So I think you have seen the varieties of food around there and uh, that's why we say here the issue is not food, the food is all over but what it is is to make sure that uh, you know in Africa when you have a capital you can do a lot of things but some people they really don't understand that like um, yeah availability of money in the capital is a little bit hard thing but when you get a capital you can do a lot of stuff. So this is what I really wanted to show you here, guys. See that, right? This is called uh, Sokokula Chifungaru. So this is the Morogoro Central Market, and it has been uh, given a respect to the Chief Fungaru, the Chief of Morogoro. You see? So let me just keep showing you around as our uh, places, as what you have seen the. Morogoro Central Market. I really like showing you around the market. So, um, I don't know, let me go the other side of this town. Guys, I think now you have an idea. Oh man, what's for to pass here? See? <laughs> how it is and this is what you can see man you know the good thing about Morogo like it is surrounded by mountains as what as how it is in some other town I showed you Mkwapwa Mkwapwa is surrounded by mountains as how it is in Morogo so just coming from the central market now I got myself in the street and trying to show you some other stuff yeah Yeah. This is another hotel here. It is sunny. I don't know if you can see it. What it is in Africa, this is what you can see. Forget about what you have been seeing in some international medias. What they show you, it is not what we got. They show you a little part where things are not okay, but they don't show you the bigger part where things are better, you know? Yeah. I have to go there. Oh, man. Let me, let me go 
uh, this side. So, guys, this is what I can show you. And I didn't want to go. This street again, it is uh, Goto Road. See, this is Goto Road. Let me just walk around here. So these are the hotels. There's a Top Life Hotel, there's Queen, Queen Hotel. Top Life Hotel and Queen Hotel. This is another street in uh, uh, Morogoro, guys. Uh, you see how it is, you know. See, this is Queen. See? There's so many hotels, that's what I say. Like, kind of like, wherever you walk, you find that it's a hotel, see? This is Top Life Hotel. So, this is how it is, guys. So, let me just keep on exploring around the street. You see over there, guys, the mountains and stuff like that. Yeah, this is a uh, Top Life Hotel, you know? Yeah. see different hand activities are, are taking place here guys see yeah see here kasanga furniture you see the handmade furnitures are here you see people are working so hard you no know, it's a beautiful thing man you see here yeah there are a lot of good furnitures these are made by the people from this town, Morogoro, you know. They are not imported, see? Yeah. You know? Guys, okay, that's why I say here in Africa, it's a matter of having a capital. It's really hard, you can struggle if you don't have a capital. That is good, man. See the beds, tables. There is some uh, sofa over there. So, guys, when I tell you that uh, in Africa, it's a matter of uh, if you have a good capital here, you know, you're gonna have wealth here in Africa. The problem, is capital people they don't have capital that's why you see people working so hard hustling so hard just to get a capital so that they can land a business see it's a handmade that's really good man you see so the problem is that people are hustling people are working so hard to get capital and it's not easy to get a capital but there are so so many things to do here in africa you know as long as you have you have capital and uh the capital that i'm talking about is monetary if you have capital that is money you got a lot of things to do around here you have that little thing here text palace the bar see yeah there's another hotel here you see as i said man like there's so so many hotels here in uh Yeah, so let me just keep showing you. This is uh, Tex Palace Hotel. Another hotel here. See? This is another hotel. Yeah. So one of the towns in Tanzania when you come in 
uh, and if uh, when you need decide to visit here in Morogoro, what I can just say, what I can just tell you guys is that uh, you're never gonna land shortage of hotel. There is a number of hotels, and the price is very, very normal. See, the price is very reasonable. And you see down there. This one, you get to see the view down there. You see, this is how the, the city, the, this is how the town looks, guys. You see over there? Yeah. Over there. You see? This is how this, see over here? Yeah. Yeah. This place is really amazing. You can't imagine, man. It's really, really amazing. Yeah. As how it is to some other African countries, like um, in, in these African countries, uh, we call this uh, these motorbikes. We call them border border. You found a number of border border. I mean motorbike. They are means of transport here. You know, uh, as what I, you have seen in many of the towns and cities that I have traveled, you're gonna see a lot of motorbikes. So here in most of African countries, these motorbikes are used as a means of transport. They are taking. I know transporting uh, passengers from one place to another, and this is the fastest. If you want to go faster, if you want to go somewhere, you know, you know, uh, uh, faster. This is the fastest uh, transport means of transport in all no towns and cities of Tanzania and the Africa in general. I can say. So when you go to Uganda, you go see this thing. When you go to Kenya, you go you go find this border boat and stuff. So like they're all over Africa and uh, their means of transport, the fastest, yeah. So guys, I think now I'm gonna get to the point of ending this uh, tour. I think I've shown you many beautiful places. Now you have an idea like, uh, how this place is and uh, how Morogoro looks right. You know what I mean? So like, um, next time when you're gonna be coming, that means you know already, like uh, what it is out here, you know, what is learning here, you know. Let me go this side. I'm gonna have to end my video out there. See? It was really a cool tour, guys. No. This is another local market, as you can see. I, think, uh, I don't know. I should go in there. But guys, I think this is enough. Of, uh, this, has, uh, this has been a great tour. Hopefully, you enjoyed touring with me along the street. And um, what I can just tell you guys, like uh, Morogoro is a beautiful place. I really enjoyed the ways it's really cool. You know, it's a cool place. Um, so before ending, let me again, let me uh, say thank you so much for my viewers, my returning viewers and the new viewers. And uh, if it is your first time to be in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you keep seeing more videos as what I'm gonna be posting every day. Thank you so much for watching and keep watching my channel. I'm really grateful. Once again, I want to thank one of my subscribers, that is Mercedes Light, for the donation that uh, I received. So I'm so thankful. So guys, thank you so much and um, keep on watching my videos. I'm gonna see you to the next video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to place a like button to show me that you really like the, the video. Thank you so much. Ciao.